Our uh, new topic is uh, about oil circuit failure in a, a compressor or a turbine. Uh, oil circuit is one of the most uh, important and the crucial part of a compressor or any other rotating uh, machine. And uh, it's not possible to function test the uh, oil circuit failure in a working compressor because it's dangerous. Uh, but it's possible to function test the uh, oil circuit failure uh, in a simulating compressor. I have this simulation here. Uh, it's a simple, uh, the simulation is a simple. Um, compressor. Uh, the simulation is done by Simatic uh, uh, software packages and uh, we will function test the oil failure. This is the uh, simple uh, st structure of uh, oil circuit in a gas turbine or in a compressor and I will explain the detail here. Uh, the first part related to the uh, oil circuit is the oil tank or oil uh, reservoir. Uh, we need to monitor the uh, level of the oil and the temperature at the same time if uh, the level is in the critical mode we need to shut down or uh, we need to uh, issue some alert signals and if, if temperature is um, uh, within some uh, uh, low uh, limit due to ambient temperature, we have this heater here to warm up the oil for better uh, operation of the compressor here. Uh, in order to pump the uh, oil into the, the whole circuit, we have an uh, auxiliary pump. Uh, in some cases, the auxiliary pump is somehow an electrical pump and the, uh, the main pump uh, is somehow a mechanical pump that is connected to the um, rotating uh, part of the compressor, but it depends on the case. Uh, mostly, uh, the oil uh, will be um, fit to the uh, filters and after uh, being filtered uh, the, the oil uh, is ready for being used in control or uh, for uh, lubricating purposes uh, for gas turbines because the uh, actuators are um, more force uh, uh, is required for uh, controlling the actuators um, uh, we need to use oil, but in a smaller compressors, oil is only used for uh, lubricating the uh, um, rotary parts. So for uh, the initial startup for a smaller compressor, uh, the auxiliary uh, pump will be in service, and when the uh, the compressor is in the start mode, and we have the uh, rotating. Uh, Mm, status here when the compressor is rotating the auxiliary pump will be off and the main pump will be in service uh, in most of cases it's a mechanical um, component this uh, the pump uh, is connected to a mechanical connection with the compressor the most important uh, part of our function test here is the one of these uh, one of these uh, pressure transmitters. If uh, the, the, you know the uh, oil pressure is very uh, critical for our case, if we um, if oil pressure is very critical for us, if we lose the oil pressure here or here, it means that uh, the oil system is. Uh, is blocked or, or there is some leakage somewhere oil leakage or uh, oil level is not sufficient there is a problem with one of these filters and the oil pressure is not sufficient here and the, uh, the compressor or tur uh, turbine should uh, shut down in that case 
uh, we will function test uh, uh, this case in the in this demonstration and you will see the uh, the um, reaction of a control system to the oil circuit failure uh, I have um, um, I have an actual uh, oil assembly circuit you can see that it's a uh, as part of uh, mm, a book, uh, more best practices for rotating equipment. If you want to uh, read more on the oil circuit of uh, rotatory, uh, ro uh, rotary, uh, rotary uh, machines, I highly recommend to check this, that uh, uh, that book. So we are back to our system. This is the um, compressor simulation here. We have this oil uh, circuit. Mm, this is the oil tank heater. And uh, this is the auxiliary, uh, auxiliary oil uh, pump. And this is the mechanical uh, uh, oil pump. I will um, start simulation and uh, we will see uh, how is the result. Uh, it's possible, let me, uh, first I need to um, start the permission, check the permission of the, uh, you know, the old requirement of a startup. One of the uh, most important requirements of the starting the compressor is the oil pressure. I uh, simulate the oil pressures. and uh, let's go and see what's happening here so we have the oil pressure in the uh, electrical side and the main header oil is also available here so the oil condition is uh, the condition uh, is uh, is met for for the oil pressure so um, the permission will be okay after the timer is uh, the time or related for the permission is uh, expired and now it's possible for me to start uh, you can see that the uh, we are in the start phase and the, the actuators inlet guide, guide vane and the pressure control valve uh, they are in their uh, constant positions after uh, finishing the start phase uh, the uh, compressor will be um, uh, will uh, you know um, transfer the compressed uh, media uh, to the header by this block valve um, but we need to uh, finish the start phase and uh, after finishing the start phase, this valve uh, will, will close and this valve will uh, regulate the uh, set point here. Uh, we are back. Uh, the compressor is a start and we are in normal, uh, normal operation. The pressure, the uh, you know the um, compressed air is being transferred to the header with the uh, the pressure that is uh, so close to the set value, and this is the inlet guide vein, and everything is normal. You can see the oil circuit and temperature related to that here. Uh, our next function test uh, is related to. Um, Uh, reducing the you know making zero you know, can consider that in the operation the uh, compressor is running and it's in production main motor is running and I want to make all pressure uh, signal zero it means that uh, something is wrong from here we don't have oil enough or 
the OS circuit is blocked or there is a problem with this uh, uh, filters so I want to simulate uh, what will happen if all the pressure trans the transmitters uh, all of them if you have all of them uh, zero uh, let me apply the changes here uh, you can see that uh, the main motor is tripped here and the compressor is also tripped and the cause of trip is the pressure uh, uh, pressure uh, low related to the uh, oil tr pressure transmitter so it's possible to see the whole uh, uh, signals here all of them related to the oil supply and uh, that is the uh, main protection related to the uh, compressor so if uh, we are in the uh, if you are in the um, production mode of the compressor if the compressor is in run mode and if uh, we uh, lose the pressure related to oil pressure uh, the compressor will uh, will be shut down for safety and we function test it here uh, the next step the next function test uh, uh, consider that uh, the, uh, we want to start the compressor by uh, clicking the permissive but we don't have enough uh, uh, pressure here in the permissive mode it's somehow a start permission check all all conditions are checked here you can go to the start conditions here and all uh, all of these conditions should be uh, green uh, if you don't have enough pressure here the old pressure because the auxiliary oil pump is running if you don't have enough pressure here so one of the main conditions uh, this is the condition that uh, that is not met if the oil pressure is not sufficient you cannot start the system if this condition is not met the permission is will be gone very soon uh, let me monitor the time here this is the uh, time related to permission when we uh, when we lose this uh, when the uh, time related to permission is expired and all of these conditions uh, are not met uh, it's not possible to start the compressor and uh, oil pressure is uh, highly uh, is uh, total linked to these uh, redundant transmitters here and you can see that after mm, after the timer is expired you can see that the permissive will, will be shut down trip no start condition available after time delay and here uh, what's the situation here you can see that the trip is uh, blinking and the compressor is in the off mode so in this uh, simple simulation we try to function test the um, importance of the oil pressure on the compressor we uh, try to simulate what will happen if the oil pressure is, is lost when the compressor is running and uh, producing uh, product and the next uh, function test was what will happen if the pressure is lost uh, before we want to start the compressor uh, in both of the cases you have some clues and you had enough information to check your old circuit and the transmitters here for function test and troubleshoot i hope you find something uh, new here and uh, please subscribe to uh, our youtube channel and thank you for watching